Hello, yogis. My name is Martin, and welcome to today's new practice. Another driveway practice, quarantine practice. Today, we're going to be focusing on arm balances, maybe some inversions, whatever kind of flows right now. But this is all levels, meaning that there's always an option for everybody in our practice. And the most important thing you can do is view the pose, view this flow as a journey. We're not focused on that end destination too much. Yeah, we'd like to get there and we try and we put effort towards it, but if it doesn't work out, it's okay. It's about the journey. We release the expectations. We have fun in the movement. And most important, we focus on the breath. The breath, it's life. And when we focus on the breath, we're also training our mind to concentrate, to focus so that we find a little inner stillness. So let's start today. Nice, comfortable, cross-legged seated position. Thumb and index, finger kiss, and the palms face up on the knees. Close the eyes. Do a couple nice little shoulder rolls. And then we relax the shoulders down the back. With our eyes closed. Always like to start and end. A little stillness. Bringing awareness inside right now. Bringing awareness in inside our body. Maybe noticing feelings right now. Sensations. Do we have any tight muscles? You feel any loose muscles? Bringing that awareness to the feet. Bring your mind to the skin. Feel the mat underneath the feet. Remember, wherever you are, best trick, easiest way to become present, notice the sensations, the feelings of what's going on right now. We bring that awareness now from the feet, gently up through the shins, over the knees. Down into our sit bones. Connect to the earth. Ground, root down through those sit bones. And as you do, let the spine sit a little straighter. Crown of the head sits a little taller, maybe shoulders a little broader. Taking a big inhale through the nose, fill the lungs, and at the very top we hold. Start here. This is Kumbhaka, breath retention. We're expanding the lungs. We're creating space inside. Exhale out the mouth. Another big inhale through the nose. Feel the ribs expand all the way to the top, filling the lungs. And then we hold. This expansion inside, not only for the breath, but for that life energy, that prana. Exhale out the mouth. <sighs> Sealing our lips, cultivating, starting our ujjayi breath, that slight constriction in the back of the throat. Beautiful inhale and exhale through the nose. These are the same muscles we use when we want to fog up a mirror, when we want to maybe clean our glasses, that But we keep the mouth sealed. All that remains, a beautiful sound, a wave of breath coming in and out through the nose. And bringing the palms to kiss, holding them heart center, Anjali Mudra. Set an intention for today's practice, a dedication. This can be anything. This could be the reason you're here today on your mat. This could be a feeling, a special person in your life. Always remember this intention throughout your practice. Let it serve as a guide, as a route. Our mind, it's going to wander. When you catch it wandering, bring it back to this intention. Bring it back to that beautiful sound of your breath. Thinking hard about that intention, big inhale through the nose. 
Exhale it out the mouth, releasing it out into the universe. Sealing our breath, ujjayi breath starts, fluttering the eyes open. Inhale, palms reach up to the sky, clasping the hands, reaching up through the palms, really extending up through, upward through those palms, feeling the stretch from the wrist down the side of the arm, down, rooting into the earth. Very good. Inhale, palms lift a little higher. Exhale, palms behind the head, rest the head like a pillow, elbows out to the side. Open the heart here, shoulders roll back. Maybe reach the crown of the head a little taller. A big breath in. Exhale, twist to the right. And keeping the spine nice and straight, lifting up through the head. We twist the best we can, no need to crank over. One more inhale. Exhale, back to center. And inhale, fill the body. Exhale, twist to the left. Keep expanding the body. Every inhale, gaining space. And on that exhale, a chance to get a little bit deeper. Very nice. One more. Breath in. Exhale, coming back to center. We roll over the knees as we come into a nice neutral tabletop position. Palms right underneath the shoulders. Knees right underneath the hips and really grip the mat. Spread the fingers wide. And as you root down through those palms, take those inner biceps, roll them forward, bringing our shoulders down the back. With an inhale, we drop the belly. We lift the hips, the heart, and the gaze. Exhale, round the spine, push the earth away, gaze to our belly. Inhale, belly drops, hips, heart, and gaze lift, open that heart to the front. Exhale, round the spine, push the earth away, gaze to the belly. Inhale, belly drops, taking the next few now, your own pace, your own rhythm. Always remember that the breath, it flows with the movement of our body. Try and link them both together and let that breath start the motion. And then we link it all the way from the beginning, all the way till we get to the end and the motion stops. Next time you stop in that belly dropped, gaze lifted position, tuck the toes, float the knees, the shins off the mat, hips up and back, first downward dog of today. First downward dog, so nice, we pedal the feet. Wagging our hips maybe side to side. Palms right in line with the shoulders, fingers wide, still gripping the mat. We wanna really press the knuckles down. Try and alleviate any pressure on the crease of the wrist by rooting down through the knuckles and the fingers. Feet in line with the hips. And can we slowly extend the right heel a little further down? Left heel extends a little further down as we come into a moment of stillness here. Hips are up and back, beautiful downward shaped V. Very nice. Bending the knees, gazing towards the hands, walking the feet right behind the palms. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine here. Fingertips to the earth, maybe our shins. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, crown of the head reaching down. Inhale, rise vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly coming up, but engaging the legs, pressing into our feet, keeping the spine balanced right in the center. We get to the top, arms reach up overhead, watch those palms kiss. Exhale, hands down to the heart, Samastitihi. Inhale, palms reach up, watch them kiss overhead. Exhale, folding at the hip, Uttanasana, crown of the head reaches forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, thighs are strong. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, holding this nice high plank. I like to generate a little bit of heat here by holding the first plank, palms underneath the shoulders, Engage the belly, root down through the balls of the feet. 
Imagine those legs. The tops are so engaged that the backs almost feel like they're lifting up towards the sky. Very nice. Root always connect down into the earth. Inhale, shifting forward on our tippy toes. Exhale, halfway down, Chaturanga. We're going to hold this one as well. Shoulders in line with the elbows. Hug those elbows into the side body. Beautiful. Tops of the feet go down. Arms extend up dog. Open the heart. Shoulders stack over the wrist. Thighs lift. Exhale, rolling over the toes, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. And we hold here five nice long breaths. Root into those knuckles. And lift the hips up and back. Engage the legs. Those kneecaps are lifting. Very nice. Bending the knees. Gazing to the hands. Step, jump, float, hop our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Nice long spine. Thighs are engaged. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, rising a little faster now. Arms reach up overhead, watch the palms kiss. Exhale, hands to the heart. Samastitihi, time to flow that sequence, breath to movement. Surya Namaskar A, saluting the sun. Inhale, arms reach up, watch those palms kiss. Thighs stay strong. Exhale, folding at the hip, Uttanasana, crown of the head forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, thighs are strong. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana, elbows hug in. Inhale, up dog, press through hands and feet, heart opens. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Gazing to our hands, step, jump, or float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, reach the heart forward, exhale, forward fold. Root through the feet, inhale, rising up, maybe tiny back bend at the top as the palms kiss. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Open the heart, thighs are lifted. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. Gazing to the hands. Step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Press through the feet, inhale, rise up, reach past the fingers as those palms kiss. Exhale, hands to the heart. Samastitihi. Bending the knees, Ukatasana chair pose. Coming into our nice little invisible chair. First, take a peek at the toes. Can you see them past the knees? If not, hips, shins a little further back. Very good. Lift the toes for a minute. Connect down into the earth. We want to find that rooting. Then we can bring the toes down. As the thighs stay nice and engaged, our belly tucks in. We want a nice straight spine out through the tips of the fingers. Pinkies wrap forward so the shoulders go down the back. If our shoulders feel a little tighter, we can always extend the arms out to the front. It's up to you. It's your practice. Very good. Inhale. Let's sit a little deeper. Exhale. Forward fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha. Exhale, planting the hands, stepping back, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, open the shoulders out to the side. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Left foot spins 45 degrees. Right foot steps right up behind that right thumb. With an inhale, we rise up. Yidda Bhadrasana one, warrior one. Front knee right over that ankle and take the right hand down to the right hip. Let's just pull it back for a moment. Move both hips facing forward. Arms come up, shoulders down the back. This back leg is long and strong. Try and root down all the way to the pinky. 
Maybe front toes lift for a minute, really connecting yourself down into the mat. Very nice. One more long breath here. Feel the body expand. Exhale, hands come down. Stepping back, high plank. Halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, halfway lift. Open the heart. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. Right foot spins 45. Left foot steps right up behind that left hand. Knee over the ankle in the front. Inhale, you rise. Virabhadrasana one, opposite side. Left hand down to the left hip. Pull it back. Arms come up. Shoulders down the back. Maybe lift those front toes. Find connection through that front foot. Toes come down. Back leg strong, you're rooting down all the way to the pinky edge of the toe. Finding calm through the breath. One more, inhale. Exhale, arms come down, stepping back. High plank, halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, open the heart, shoulders back. Exhale, over the toes. Downward facing dog, five long breaths. Very nice. Root down through those knuckles. Always know child's pose. It's here if you need it. Thighs are strong. And as you gaze at the heels, if you can see the heels, can you slightly internally rotate the thighs so the heels begin to hide behind our calves? Very nice. One more cycle of breath. Bending the knees, gazing to the hands. Step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose. <sighs> Lifting those toes. Find connection down with all four corners of the foot, and then the toes can come down. Very good. Imagine your body right now is lengthening from the hips, through the spine, out the crown of the head. Even though you're sitting down, try and lengthen the body upwards towards the sky. Very nice. One more. Inhale, sitting a little deeper. Exhale, come to stand. Samastitihi. Time to flow. That sequence, breath to movement. Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, open the shoulders. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Right foot, right hand, warrior one. Rise up, single inhale. Follow the breath from the bottom up till the palms kiss. Exhale, Chaturanga. Follow that breath down. Single exhale all the way down. Inhale, up dog. Open the heart. Exhale over the toes. Downward facing dog. Left foot, left hand. Inhale, we rise with the breath. Single inhale, root through the feet. Both hips forward. Watch the palms kiss. Exhale, follow the breath down, Chaturanga, riding the breath down. Inhale, up dog, shoulders open. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Gazing to the hands, step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose. Exhale, come to stand. Samastitihi. One more round. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward for Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Shoulders broad, heart is open. Exhale, over the toes, down dog. Right foot, right hand, warrior one. Rise up, inner thighs are squeezing together, both hip bones face forward. Exhale, ride it down, chaturanga. Flowing with our breath, keeping it calm. 
Inhale, up dog, shoulders broad. Exhale over the toes, down dog. Last one, left foot, left hand. Warrior one, Vita Bhadrasana, rise up, strong stance. Watch those palms kiss. Exhale, ride it down. Beautiful, keep the breath calm all the way down. Inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog, and we hold. Five nice long breaths. Hips up and back. Thighs are strong. Remember our breath, it lights the fire inside. We call that our Agni. That Agni helps create the prana, the life force, the energy to flow throughout our body. We also want to practice some Mavritti breath. That's equal fluctuations, keeping our inhales, our exhales, the same distance, nice and calm. Very nice. Big breath in. Exhale, shifting forward, rolling the body into a nice high plank. Very nice. Hovering our right foot off the mat. We can stay here, option one. Option two, right knee to the right tricep. We could stay here. Option three, for the balance, we come halfway down like we're doing Chaturanga. Float the back leg off. Then we can extend that front leg. Ekapada Kundinyasa. Very nice. Wherever we are, remember, calm breath. Staying really true to our internal self. One more, inhale. Exhale, halfway back, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, open the shoulders. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. And now bringing our knees down to the mat, sinking the hips back. Tops of the feet go down, child's pose. Always remembering when our breath escapes us, it's okay. We can take this asana. We can bring our minds back to peace by keeping the breath calm. Very nice. Meeting now back, downward facing dog. Hips up and back, thighs engaged, rooting through the knuckles. Very nice. One more. Breath in. Exhale, rolling forward, high plank. Left foot floats off the mat. Left knee to the left tricep. Option one, or this is option two. Option one is holding back. Option three, the arm balance. We float the back leg off the mat. We extend the front leg. Ekapada Kundinyasa. Where's the breath? And we bring our mind to stillness. And one more, inhale. Exhale, stepping back, halfway down. Inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Knees come down, hips sink back, child's pose. Oftentimes, you might see me with my eyes closed. One, this is a nice way to bring our awareness inside. Most likely in these videos, it's because the sun is right in front of me. <laughs> Very nice. Meeting back, downward facing dog. Hips up and back, eyes engage, very good. Bending the knees, gaze towards the hands. We're gonna try and step, float, or hop with our feet outside the palms. Very good. And with an inhale, rising all the way up. Watch the palms kiss. Exhale, hands down to the heart. Samastitihi. Taking those toes, facing them out just a little bit, heels face in. 
palms at heart center, lifting through the spine, inhale. Exhale, sinking the hips down. Yogi squat, malasana pose. Elbows right inside the thighs. You can always adjust your feet, finding whatever's comfortable, but you want from toes to heels, really connecting into the mat. If it's not, rolling up a towel underneath the heels, or we can lift the hips. Whatever feels more comfortable for you. Palms are pressing heart center. Keep the spine straight here. Feel the sensations with the breath, expanding every inhale. Taking our left hand, reaching out in front of the left shin. Right arm reaches up to the sky for the twist. We gaze towards that right hand. This is option one. Option two, left hand reaches around the shin. Right hand around the back, clasping at the fingers or grabbing the wrist and rolling that right shoulder back. Breathing deep. We train our mind, our body, to stay calm by keeping that breath nice and smooth. One more. Inhale. Exhale, coming back to center. Malasana, yogi squat. Right hand reaches out in front of that right shin. Left arm reaches up to the sky for the twist. Gazing towards the hand, option one. Option two, right arm around the shin, left arm around the back. And when we clasp, we roll the shoulders back. We try and open the heart towards the sky. Very nice, one more breath in. Exhale, coming back to center. Time for a little arm balance, crow's pose or kakasana. Palms, they come down just a foot in front of the shins. We shift the weight forward so we're on our tippy toes. We bring the knees right out to the edge of the tricep. We shift the weight forward. And we could stay here with our arms bent like chaturanga, 90 degrees. Or we can play around with lifting one foot at a time. Maybe we lift both feet as we come into our crow's pose. Pressing through the palms, try and suck the heels towards the bum as we round the back. Finding stillness with our breath. Very nice, one more, inhale. Exhale, stepping back halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. Bending the knees, gazing to the hands. Step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Heel toe the feet so the big toes kiss. With an inhale, we rise. Ukatasana, chair pose. Sitting down in our chair. Find connection through the feet. Very nice. Palms kiss heart center. Inhale. Exhale, shifting forward. Hover over the thighs. We use the core, we twist to the right. Bringing the elbow right outside the thigh. Pay attention to the knees. One likes to scoot ahead in front of the other. Pull it back. This is option one. Option two, we can open the arm. And option three, the balance. We can bring the palms down to the earth, bringing that elbow right outside the thigh. And we shift the weight over, bending the arms like chaturanga. Very nice, side crow. Or option to open the legs. Ekapada kundinyasa. One more, inhale. Exhale, coming back to center and forward fold. Heel toeing the feet so they're, mat so they're hip width distance. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend the knees. And we're gonna take our palms facing up 
underneath the soles of the feet. So the toes come to the crease in the wrist. Very nice. We can keep the knees bent or we inhale halfway lift, lengthen through the legs, exhale forward fold. Very good. Pada Hastasana. Those Pada's feet on the Hastas, the hands. Thighs stay engaged, kneecaps lift, elbows out to the side. Can you use the palms to help bring the heart a little closer to your legs? Very nice. One more cycle of breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Release one hand at a time. Bring the big toes to kiss. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Very good, sit down in the chair. Find connection, always root down first. Every pose we connect into the earth. Palms kiss, heart center. Exhale, shift forward. Using the belly, twist to the left. Bring the elbow right outside the thigh. Pay attention to the knees. Very good. Option one here. Option two, we open the arms. Option three, we come in for the arm balance. Palms coming down. Bring the elbow right outside the thigh. We shift the weight over. Side crow. Or option two, ekapada. Extending bottom leg out to the side, top leg out the back. Stillness in the breath. One more. Inhale. Exhale, coming back to center and forward fold. Very nice. Inhale, rising all the way up this time. Watch the palms kiss. Exhale, hands to the heart. Samas Titihi, beautiful. Feet just about hips width distance apart. With an inhale, lift the right knee up into the heart. Very good. We could stay here. Option one, lifting the knee as high as we can. Option two, left hand can grab the pinky side of that right foot. Or option three, we extend the leg out to the front as we open the heart out to the side. <sighs> Breathing deep. E opening the heart as you root down through that bottom leg. Very good. You guys are doing a good job, I sense it. One more, inhale. Exhale, return to center, bringing the leg down. Whew. Very good, opposite foot now. Inhale, left knee lifts, bring the left knee up into the heart. Option one here, option two, right hand outside, pinky side of that left foot, extend the leg. Open the heart out to the side. <sighs> Breathing deep. Remember, best we can to straighten our legs. If the knee's bent, that's all right. <sighs> one more, inhale. Exhale, coming back to center. Release the leg down to the earth. Come into a little tree pose. Right sole of the foot inside the thigh. Palms press, heart center. Really open that knee. Both hip bones face forward. Find a drishti, a point of focus, in which you bring your awareness to. Everything fades away. Spine is straight, inhale. Exhale, grow those branches up tall. Very nice. Maybe we're a tree that's swaying in the wind. That's okay, maybe we're still. Wherever we are, we take pleasure in this moment. One more, inhale. Exhale, release. Tadasana, mountain pose. Palms face forward, right out to the side. Very good. Tree pose, opposite side, left sole of the foot, 
inside the thigh. Knee out to the side, open the hips, straight spine, palms kiss, heart center. Engage that right leg, root down, find strength through the bottom foot. Big breath in. Exhale, grow those branches. Very nice. Shoulders down the back. Maybe that knee can open a little bit wider. One more, inhale. Exhale, release, Tadasana, mountain pose. Beautiful. Inhale, arms reach up, stopping in line with the shoulders. Right elbow bends. We rest it on the right hip, right knee bends. We reach around, grab the inside of the foot. Option one, we stay here. Option two, we reach the heart forward. Kicking the right foot right into the palm. Opening the heart, engaging that left leg. Very good. Dancer's pose, not the Ranjasana. One more. Inhale. Exhale, rising up, following that breath. Release. Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, arms reach up, stopping in line with the shoulders. Left elbow bends, resting on the left hip, left knee bends. Reach around, grab the inside, big toe side of the foot. Stay here, option one. Option two, we reach the heart forward. Left foot kicks into the hand. Open the heart, engaging our legs. Where's the breath? Where's the awareness? One more. Inhale. Exhale, rising up, releasing Tadasana, mountain pose. See, we sway, we wobble, we have fun. Inhale, arms reach up, watch the palms kiss. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, open the heart, shoulders back. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to the right wrist, shifting the weight forward. And drop the shin parallel to the front of the mat. We bring the back knee down as we set up for our pigeon pose. Flex the front foot. This really helps protect the joint in this front knee. Gaze over the shoulder, nice straight line out the back. Bringing both hips forward. Maybe there's a little space you can put something underneath your bum. With an inhale, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, palm by palm, walk the torso down. Stopping wherever there's tension, wherever our body asks. Maybe we made it to the palms. Maybe we made it to the forearms. Maybe we make it all the way down. Remember, where's the breath? With every inhale, can you guide the breath to the sensation? Can you watch as that inhale as it slowly releases, as it slowly unlocks, creating space in that tension. Very nice. One more. Big inhale. Exhale, palm by palm. We walk the torso up. Nice upright position. Back toes tuck. Knee comes off the earth. As you press into the palms, float that right knee up into the heart, round the spine. Then we open the hip out to the side. Nice little circles here. Clockwise, counterclockwise. Doing whatever feels good. Maybe we open that hip up to the sky, releasing whatever tension there may be. 
Then both feet meet back down, downward facing dog. One cycle of breath, hips up and back, root through those knuckles. Very nice. Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left wrist, drop the shin parallel to the front, back knee comes down. Flex that front foot, protect the knee. Gaze over the shoulder, nice straight line out the back. And as you bring the heart forward, both hips face forward. Maybe there's a space, that's okay. Inhale, lift the heart and the gaze. Exhale, palm by palm, walk the torso forward. With our breath, can we let go? Maybe there's things in our life today, things that don't belong. Maybe these are a certain way we feel about other people, certain ways we feel about ourselves, things that we know aren't healthy to our well being. With every breath, release, let it go. And really watch with that exhale. Watch whatever that is that doesn't belong as it leaves the body. Watch it as it leaves your mind. And one more. Inhale, exhale, palm by palm, torso walks its way, nice upright position, back toes tuck, knee comes off the earth. As we press into the palms, the left knee hugs into the heart, round the spine, then we open the hip out to the side. Nice little circles, keeping it healthy. Maybe we open that hip up to the sky, remember, whatever feels good here, whatever the body's asking for. Very nice. And then we return downward facing dog, both feet down. One cycle of breath, hips up and back, reach through the knuckles. Very nice, big breath in. Exhale, rolling forward, high plank. We lower all the way down to the belly. Very good. Tops of the feet go down, arms clasping behind the back. With an inhale, lift the heart off the earth. Press into the feet, press into the front of the hips. Really reach through those toes, opening those shoulders, open the heart. Very good. Use our lower back. Engage the muscles in the front of the belly. Inhale, a little higher with the heart. Exhale, toes float off. Modified Shalabhasana. Big toes can kiss, slight space in between the ankles. Gaze is slightly forward and down. Big breath, lift a little higher. Exhale, lower it down, release the hands, right cheek to the mat. Find the stillness, appreciate it. Feel the earth. Very good. Palms coming up underneath the shoulders, bending the knees, lifting the heart. Reach back as we reach for the outside of the ankles. Very good. Inhale, press into the thighs, into the hip as you lift the heart. Keeping those thighs down on the earth, kicking those feet into the hands. And now lift the thighs off as we come into our bow pose. Very good. Kicking into the hands, rolling the shoulders back. Beautiful, one more, inhale. Exhale, slowly lowering it down, left cheek to the mat, release the legs. Maybe we windshield wiper the legs from side to side, releasing any tension in our lower back. Hmm. 
Very good. Bringing the feet down, palms underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes. Inhale, push up high plank. Exhale, rolling back, downward facing dog. Knees coming down, big toes kiss. Feet out to either side as we come to a seated pose. Legs extend out to the front. Very nice, thighs engage. Maybe we take a little bit of bum out to either side, really helping root our body down. Palms by our side, lifting up through the spine. Dandasana, staff pose. Front toes flex back. Thighs are strong, little to no pressure in our hands. As your belly stays engaged, try and root from the heels down to our sit bones. Feel that spine, the crown of the head lift up as the chin slightly tucks, keeping the neck long. Very good. Inhale, palms reach up. Exhale, reach for the toes, Paschimottanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Keeping our legs engaged. Remember, it doesn't matter if we grab our thighs, our knees, our ankles, our shins. It's not about our flexibility. Focus the body into the sensations. Maybe it helps gazing towards the feet. This is called Padda Drishti. This keeps our spine long and strong. Keep those thighs engaged here. Very good. Inhale, gain a little length. Exhale, fold just a little deeper. One more breath in. Exhale, rising all the way up. Very nice. Taking our right leg, knee out to the side, bending that knee. Bring the right sole of the foot right inside the left thigh. Front toes flex back. Bring our torso right in line with that front leg. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, reaching for the toes. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. Exhale, forward fold. This is called Janu Shirshasana pose. Left leg is engaged, nice and strong, toes flex back. Bring your awareness right into the center of the forehead, Brumaria Drishti. One more, inhale. Exhale, rising all the way up, releasing the foot. Extending the right leg out to the front. Left knee bends out to the side, left sole of the foot inside the right thigh. Bring the body in front of that nice straight leg. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, reaching for the toes. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Right leg stays strong. Reach forward with the heart. Keep those toes flexing back. If that left knee is hovering off the earth, we can put a blanket, a block, any little bit of support. One more. Breath in. Exhale, rising all the way up, releasing both legs out to the front. Bending the knees, floating the shins off the earth. Palms right behind the knees. This is option one, Navasana boat pose. Option two, hands in line with the shins. Option three, that spicy version, we lengthen the legs. Keep lifting through the heart. Engage the belly, engage the top of the legs. Nice straight spine. Very good, big breath in. Exhale, crossing at the shins, knees to the heart, hands by our side, we pick up or just press down. And we come into Navasana number two. Lift up through the chest, keep the shoulders broad. Legs engaged, belly strong. Very good, big breath in. 
Exhale, shins cross, knees to the heart, picking up or pressing down into our last one. Here we go. Very good. Here we invite the smile to our face. When we smile, our body is like, hey, this is cool. I'm in a good place. <laughs> Very nice. One more. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down. Very nice. Woo. Bending the knees as we set up for our bridge pose. Feet in line with the hips. Bring our hands down by our side. We should be able to tickle the heels. And once we connect the palms down, press through the feet, inhale, lift the hips. Option one, we stay right here. Option two, we roll one shoulder at a time behind the back, clasping the hands. Keep pressing down through the feet chin away from the chest, and slight internal rotation of the thighs. Very nice. One more. Inhale, lift it a little higher. Exhale, release the hands. Roll it down, one vertebrae at a time. Letting that spine whew, nice and relaxed down into your mat. Bring the soles of the feet to kiss. Knees spread wide. One hand on our heart, one hand on our belly. Supta Baddha Konasana. Close the eyes. I want you to fo first focus inside on the heart, especially on love. Thinking about people in your life, special people, parents, brothers, sisters, friends, strangers, wherever you find love, I want you to fill the body with love. All awareness is inside to that love that's growing bigger with every inhale. We feel the love flowing through the body. How can we focus on the breath? Every inhale, feel the belly rise. Feel every inch of the body so the belly really puffs out to the sky. And with the exhale, let it all go, all the way down from the pit of the stomach. So much that when we get to the bottom, there's no air left. We engage the belly, we release every drop of air. Inhale, fill the body once again. Feel the ribs expand. Belly puffs out. Exhale, you let it all go. Now, taking a few more, your own pace. But really watch the breath. Always let the breath be our guide in life. It keeps us present, but it teaches us to let go. It teaches us to sh savor those incoming moments, just like that inhale. But then we let them go. We savor that next inhale, every moment. Wherever we are right here, right now, this is what matters. Fluttering the eyes open, lifting the feet off the mat, and reaching for the outside of the feet for a little happy baby. Connect our spine down to the mat, from the back of the head all the way to the tailbone, knees now out to the side. Once we form that connection, we can invite rocking from side to side. Gently massaging our spine. Maybe we bring one knee a little bit closer to the bottom. We make our way back to center. We close the knees together, just like a book. 
Keeping that right knee hugged into the heart, extend the left leg out to the front. Gently bringing it down. Right knee lifts a little higher. Exhale, right knee crosses the body. Arms go down at a T, and our gaze goes to the right. It doesn't matter how far this knee goes over to the side. You want to connect your shoulders down into the mat. You want to find rooting down through the back of the heart. One more breath in. Exhale, coming back to center. Wrapping the arms around the shins. Nice little ball. Maybe the forehead kisses the tops of the knees. Left knee stays into the heart. Right leg extends. We slowly bring it down into the mat. Inhale, left knee a little higher. Exhale, left knee crosses the body. Arms at a T, and we gaze over to the left side. Relaxing the shoulders down, connecting the back of the body into the earth. I like to watch the helicopters here. I'm just kidding. I like to watch the breath, and I like to let it move the prana. It starts at the heart center. With every breath, we can direct that energy throughout the body, reaching the fingers, reaching all the way to the toes. One more, inhale. Exhale, knees coming back to center, wrapping the arms around the shins. Nice little ball here. Take a big inhale, fill the body all the way to the top, and then we hold. We're coming back into that kumbhaka, that breath retention. Now can we engage as we hold the breath, every muscle in the body. We engage the toes, the fingers, the biceps, the muscles in our face and our belly, and we're squeezing hard and we're holding for three, for two, for one, and release. Ah. <sighs> Letting our legs extend out to the front. Palms coming down by our side, letting them face up. We close our eyes as we come into our last, but our most important asana here today. We let go of the control of the breath. We let go of all the control of our muscles today. We sink back down into the nature of ourselves, into that calm, into the peace. As you lay, watch as your body gets heavier. Starting at our ankles. Watch all the way up to the knees, into the thighs, our hips, as it gets heavier, as it sinks down into your mat. Our lower back, all the way up to the shoulders, they connect down. And bring that awareness through the arms to the back of the hands. Relaxing the muscles in our eyes, in our mouth, in our face. You take this time and you make this moment all about you. With a calm body and a calm mind. Shavasana.
starting to take deeper breaths, inviting life back into our body. And gently wiggling the fingers, the toes, as we slowly invite that life back into our muscles. Reaching the arms up and overhead, nice morning stretch, lengthening through the fingers, through the toes. Gently lifting the knees towards heart center as we roll to the right side, cradling the head with the bottom arm and we close the eyes. And we come into a moment of gratitude here. So important. First you thank yourself. Tell yourself right now, tell yourself, thank you for taking the time today to do something that was good for my body. Telling yourself, thank you for taking the time today to doing something that was good for my mind. And then, can you think about two things in your life, two things today that you are just truly, truly grateful for? And when you're ready, keeping our eyes closed, slowly make your way back up to a nice, comfortable, cross-legged, seated position. And we connect our thumb and index finger together. Palms face down this time on our knees. Taking one cycle of breath here. This really roots our energy down through the base. It connects us a little more with the earth. Bringing the palms to kiss, holding them heart center, Anjali Mudra. I'd like to leave you guys with a little quote here today. A quote I was reading that really resonated with our current situation. Stay in the center of the circle and let all things take their course from Lao Tzu. It's been an honor and a pleasure. Let's seal our practice together with an Om and three Shantis for peace. Feel free to clear your throat. Taking a nice big inhale for Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Maybe a little smile on our face. Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. The divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste. It's been an honor and a pleasure and I thank you guys all for watching today's video. Please like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's practice and stay tuned. New videos every week and I really enjoy that you watch this video today and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and your week. Thank you very much.